by protecting those who must be incarcerated, correctional officers safeguard society, and frequently, these prisoners use their talents and cunning to escape. The authorities of the Corrections Department are prepared for the usual escape attempts, including contraband smuggling, extortion, and bribery. Nevertheless, they were never trained for the use of produce, yoga, or helicopters. We have compiled a list of the 12 most bizarre international prison breaks in history. These inmates exhibit a truly original thought. Hello everyone, and welcome to another video. Today we'll be looking at the most insane ways men escape from prison. Yeah, you heard it right. Public Enemy, March 3rd, 1934. The man whose crimes garnered him the infamous title of Public Enemy No. 1 from the FBI must come first. John Dillinger, a bank robber and assassin, evaded prison on two occasions. His first escape was from an Ohio prison with the assistance of eight companions. Upon his second capture, he was transported to the Lake County Jail in Crown Point, where officials described the facility as escape-proof. However, in what is now a well-known story, Dillinger escaped the prison with a fake pistol. Popular opinion holds that he used a gun made of wood that had been painted black with shoe polish. Although the precise composition of the weapon and the circumstances of the escape are still the subjects of debate, guards were duped by Dillinger's pistol and allowed him to escape from prison. During his time on the run, he committed several more robberies before he was slain in a shootout with the FBI in July, a few months later. The Alcatraz Escape June 11, 1962 Three detainees escaped from Alcatraz and yet another extraordinary story made famous by a blockbuster film starring Clint Eastwood. The federal maximum security penitentiary Alcatraz was situated on an island off the coast of San Francisco. As it was surrounded by water, it was considered to be unavoidable. On June 11, 1962, Frank Lee Morris, John Anglin, and Clarence Anglin dug a tunnel through a concrete wall using a ladle to escape from prison. To gain more time, they constructed paper mache mannequins with hair from the prison's barbershop and placed them in their mattresses. The offenders then entered the water via a boat constructed from more than 50 stolen raincoats. The prison officers did not discover their escape until the following morning. At that time, a search was initiated, but the men were ultimately never heard from again. FBI and Alcatraz jail officials believe that the three suspects drowned in the water to this day. According to this hypothesis, their bodies have never been found. Catch Me If You Can, April 1971 The departure of Frank Abagnale has been popularized in a film that is now considered a Hollywood classic. The film Catch Me If You Can is based on the notorious fraudster and imposter Frank. Frank began perpetrating crimes at age 15 and he escaped from prison twice. First, while being deported to the United States, Frank escaped from a British aircraft at JFK. Eventually, in April 1971, he was apprehended after which he attempted his most audacious escape. Frank tricked the officers into aiding his escape in April 1971 using his wits. The US Marshal forgot Frank's detention commitment documents during prison check-in. At this time, in the United States, federal employees were inspecting numerous prisons for civil rights violations. Frank took advantage of the opportunity to deceive the prison guards into believing he was an undercover inspector masquerading as a prisoner for an inspection. He spent weeks developing the plot to further persuade the guards he had an accomplice outside forge a fake FBI business card identifying him as an officer. Next reigns are the key. May 1986. Michel Valjour and his wife devised a complex escape plot involving fruits in 1986. Prior to the escape, Michel's wife Nadine took helicopter lessons. Michel used nectarines painted to resemble explosives to gain access to the prison roof. His wife then scooped him up in a helicopter and landed them on a football field. After a bungle robbery attempt, Michel was shot and survived while his wife was apprehended. We can't help but wish we had a picture of those nectarine explosives that appear so realistic. Michelle may have not been destined to be an artist. The Magic Key, January 10th, 1995. Three convicts escaped from prison in the United Kingdom by memorizing the outline of a key. Andrew Roger, Keith Rose, and Matthew Williams labored in the prison sheets metal shop where they fabricated all the necessary escape tools. They memorized the outline of a guard's master key and created a replica, which effectively enabled them to open any door during their escape. In addition, they fabricated a 25-foot steel ladder and a homemade rifle. They were apprehended four days later while plotting to hijack an airplane. Not one, not two, but three helicopter escapes. October 12, 2001 Pascal Paillé, a French thief and convicted murderer, has three successful prison escapes under his credit. 
which has earned him international renown. Pascal escaped a prison in a French village on October 12, 2001 by having his friends retrieve him from the prison's roof with a stolen helicopter. In 2003, he returned to the penitentiary via helicopter and assisted three more inmates in escaping. In 2005, he was sentenced to 30 years in prison for the 1997 murder of an officer during a carjacking. He was only incarcerated for a brief period before deciding to escape again. In July 2007, Pascal arranged for his associates to hijack a helicopter, kidnap the pilot, and force him to fly to his penitentiary, where he was waiting on the roof. His third attempt to escape was successful, but he was eventually apprehended in Spain. So that's all for today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so that you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section down below. Stay tuned, and we'll catch you in the next video.